and myself Sagar Choksi from LDF Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in a previous session we have started a new concept that is active safety and passive safety and that we have already completed in last session. So in today's session we are going to discuss about a new concept that related to crash test in which we are going to discuss about first and important one that is the introduction of crash test, second one that is a restraint system and third one that is importance of crash test. So let's start the lecture, lecture number 23 that related to crash test. So the first and important one that is what is crash test. So first of all it is the combination of two words crash and test. So it is just like a destructive testing that related to safety design standard. Right. So let's talk on that. First of all, first and important one that is a crash test is a form of destructive testing usually performed in order to ensure safety standard in crash worthiness. Right. So this is what the crash and test. Right. So uh, second one that is crash compatibility for various mode of transportation or related to system and component. Right. That are related to system or component. So move forward to third point. Third point that is a crash test are conducted under scientific and safety standard right and last one that is each crash test is very expensive so the maximum amount of data must be extracted from each test. So this is what the crash test. Crash test will be done or you can take crash test is very important it is just like a destructive testing and it is useful for safe design standard right. So move forward to next slide. So next one that is a crash test. There are mainly three different types of crash test. Here I have attached uh, three different uh, types of crash test. First one that uh, related to frontal collision. Second one that uh, related to side impact. And third one that uh, related to rear collision and roll over impact. Right. So let's talk on that. Move forward to next slide. So the first and important one that is the front collision. So as the word suggests front and collision right it is the combination of two words frontal part and uh, second one that is the collision right or you can take accident right. So here uh, in design or you can take in uh, image you can see the frontal collision front, at the front part you can see the accident right. So what is frontal collision or you can take how to reduce how to reduce the impact during the accident right. So this is uh, very important uh, there are mainly two or three different uh, spare parts like uh, crumple zone second one that is airbag right this uh, spare part is very uh, useful to reduce the uh, impact during collision right so this is what the frontal uh, collision so let's talk on that first and important one that is impact against fixed barrier and pendulum impact test against bumper are conducted first and important one that is impact against fixed barrier and pendulum impact test against bumper are conducted Second one that is certain possible uh, damage to headline turn signal light right so this is very uh, important. Third one that is vehicle usually impact a solid concentrate wall at a specified speed but this can also be vehicle impacting vehicle, uh, vehicle test. So this is what the frontal collision. So move forward to fourth one. Fourth one that is a test provide the capability to evaluate the upper and lower leg protection due to the localized uh, instruction. So this is what the frontal collision. Frontal collision uh, is done at the front part. It, it's just like a destructive testing uh, will be done at the front part. You will take the example of a crumple zone, airbag, right. So this is what the uh, frontal collision. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is a side impact. So here in image you can find out the side part, right. So side impact or you can take side collision. So side impact that will be done at the side phases right. So in image you can easily find out. So let's talk on that move forward to first point. This form of accident have a very significant likelihood of fatality as cars do not have a significant comfort zone to absorb the impact forces because uh, before an occupant is injured. And second one that is a simulation technique are also available for side impact right. So move forward to second point. So second one that is the example. So this technique or the technique described in ECE regulation first of all in which a deformable barrier is driven perpendicularly into the side of the test vehicle. So this is what the side impact in so move forward to next slide. Next one that is a rare impact and roll over collision. 
So in uh, first image you can find out the road over collision and in second image you can find out the rare point right or you can take rare impact. Rare impact will be done at the rare phases and the destructive testing will be done at the rare phases right. So this is what the rare impact and rollover. Rollover means in image you can find out the rollover right. So uh, let's talk on that move forward to first point. So the first point that is a rare collision test employ a fixed mass barrier driven against a rare test vehicle with certain speed in a vehicle longitudinal direction. Second point that is two systems are used to simulate a vehicle rollover. Fuel system integrity is tested before and after frontal side and rear impact. Right. So move forward to third point. Third point that is the vehicle is held in each position for five minutes and gravity check valve are installed in the line between fuel tank and filter. This is the example of rear impact and rollover or collision. So move forward to fourth one. So fourth one that is it tests the car ability to support itself in dynamic impact. So this is what the rear uh, impact and rollover collision. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is a restraint system. So in this particular table, I have attached four different examples. First one that is seat belt. Second one that is airbag. Third one that is child restraint system. Is pedestrian system and visibility. So this is what the restraint system. So let's talk on that. Move forward to next slide. So the first one that is seat belt. So V is a safety device designed to secure the passenger or driver of a vehicle against harmful movement that may result during the collision. So it is very important. Second one that is when in motion, right, when your car is in motion, the driver and passenger are traveling at the same speed as the car, right. And third one that is if the driver makes the car suddenly stop, the driver and passenger continue at the same speed, the car was going before it stopped. So this is what the uh, seat belt. So fourth one that is seat belt applied and opposite forces to the driver and passengers to prevent them out with the interior of the car. So this is what the seat belt when car is in motion the driver and passenger are traveling at the same speed right and if the driver makes the car suddenly stop the driver and passenger continue at the same speed but it suddenly create the opposite force and at that time seat belt is very important. So move forward to next slide. Second one that is visibility. So First of all, what is visibility, right? As a driver, right? Visibility is a very important parameter. First and important one that is good all round visibility is now one of the main requirement of body design. Second one that is it depends on size of the window opening and their position relevant to occupant. Third one that is visibility parameter can be determined by driver's eye position and the method by which the blind area can be determined. So as a side or you can take side mirror right is play a very important role because ultimately visibility parameter can be determined by driver's eye position and the method by which the blind area can be determined. So this is what the visibility fourth one that is proper adjustment of a mirror as I discussed earlier first and important one that is proper adjustment of mirror and use of other technical solution eliminate vehicle blind spot. So this is what the visibility concept. So move forward to next slide. Next one that is airbag. Airbag is placed near to the steering system, right? So this is what the airbag concept. So let's talk on that. First and important one that is the airbag provide an energy absorbing surface between the vehicle's occupant and a steering wheel, instrument panel, body pillar, headliner, and wind seal. Second one that is during the crash, right? During a collision or during the crash, the vehicle's crash sensor provides crucial information to the airbag or you can take electronical controller unit ECU including collision type, angle and impact. So this is what the airbag, right? The airbag is generally provided near to the steering system. So move forward to next slide. So the point that is using the information, the airbag ECU's crash algorithm determine if the crash event meet the criteria for deployment and trigger various firing circuit to deploy one or more airbag module within the vehicle. So this is what the airbag 
concept fourth and important one that is the purpose of the airbag is to provide a vehicle occupant with a soft cushioning and restraint during a crash even it can reduce the injury between the occupant and the interior of the vehicle so this is what the concept of airbag so move forward to next slide next one that is child restraint system so in image you can find out the sufficient uh, uh, sufficient space for children right so let's stop on that so the first and important one that is crs child restraint system is a hard backed child safety seat a standard feature in passenger vehicle in de uh, developed countries ensuring the safety of the children while traveling so in image you can find out the crs system second one that is so the seat is designed specially to protect the children from injury or death during vehicle collision just like a passive restraint as we discussed earlier passive safety right so in uh, last point i have attached child safety seat provide passive restraint and must be properly used to be effective so this is what the child restraint system sufficient space will be provided in car so this is what the child restraint system so move forward to next slide next one that is a safety system so in a first point i have attached passenger safety cell crumple zone second point i have attached seat belt and airbag third point that is laminated glass fourth point that is load space barrier nets so this is all a uh, safety system in which uh, we have uh, done there are two types of safety active safety and passive safety right so this is what the safety system so thank you thank you so much in this particular session we have completed crash test right so thank you thank you so much Thank <laughs> you.